Hello everyone, welcome back. So this time we will be using the frequency distribution table and find the sample mean, variance, and the standard deviation. Okay, the first step is we need to find the midpoint here. Okay, then how to find the midpoint? Yes, you are combining lower limit and upper limit and divide by 2. Then the first class midpoint become 12.5 okay the second class 19 plus 30 divided by 2 then you will get 24.5 and if you keep on doing it then you will get this value like this okay so what's the next step yes now we are multiplying midpoint time frequency okay so let's do it then what do we get so the first one is 12.5 times 6 then you got 75 second row so 24.5 times 10 so you get 245 and 36.5 times 13 then you will get 474.5 if you keep on doing it then you will get the value like this okay then before moving on the last column then let's talk about why do we need to find the midpoint and then the the product between midpoint and frequency after creating classes now we don't know actual data set therefore the midpoint represent each class data so instead of utilizing actual data because we don't know them so we consider the first class 12.5 appear six times 24.5 appear 10 times like that it sounds like um uh, whenever you take a certain number of exams and then you you can find the some average value so let's say you took maybe five different exams and your average become 84 then you understand oh I get about B because your average become 84 even though that's not your actual score right the same meaning here so because we don't know actual data so we're using midpoint value and then just to represent each data set okay therefore midpoint looks like each data set then now this table looks like weighted mean distribution okay therefore find the mean i'm gonna find out total frequency first and then total data set okay so if you do it the total frequency become 50 and total data value become 2089 so now we are ready to find sample mean so sample mean means total value of data divided by total number of data so x bar becomes 2089 divided by 50 if you do it then you will get 41.78 okay then let's start finding simple variance to find simple variance you need to complete the last column okay so let's do it so this column shows that m squared times uh, f which means you square you square this value time frequency so if you do it so 12.5 square time 6 therefore this become 937.5 same way so 24.5 square time 10 then you will get 6002.5 if you keep on doing then you will get and this value and the total sum become 10719.5 okay so let's uh, please think about how we found sample variance using the weighted mean distribution so I've already formula here again basically we are finding 
the n time frequency time the last column right this number and then weight mean square so this number over n times n minus 1 right therefore now we can set up s square become same way 50 times this number so 50 times 1071 96.5 minus this number square so 2089 square over total number of data 50 times 49 if you calculate that so you will get about 406.491 and the standard deviation which means square root variance so square root 406.491 then you will get about 20.1 six two like this okay so therefore the answer for this question is sample mean 41.78 and sample variance 46.491 and sample standard deviation 20.162 that will be the answer for this problem